be with you. This morning we journey with St. Juan Diego, an Aztec man to whom Mary appeared in 1531 near Mexico City. This apparition has become known as Our Lady of Guadalupe, which is celebrated on December 12th. What was unique about this encounter is that Mary appeared to Diego, not as a Spanish Madonna, but as a pregnant Aztec woman, speaking to him in his own Aztec language. She wished to have a church built. When the local bishop refused to believe Juan, Mary told him to gather flowers from the top of Tepeyac Hill, which was normally barren, especially in the cold of December. Juan, obedient to her instructions, found Castilian roses, not native to Mexico, blooming here. When Juan Diego opened his cloak or tilma before the bishop, the flowers fell to the floor, and on the fabric was the image of the Virgin of Guadalupe. This almost 500-year-old fabric remains on display and is in very good condition without any preservation. Our Lady of Guadalupe is the patroness of the Americas and of the unborn. Through the intercession of St. Juan Diego and Our Lady of Guadalupe, let us pray that we may prepare our souls for Christmas, for an end to the pandemic, and that we respect and protect human life from the moment it's conceived. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. From Psalm 15, Blessed are you, daughter by the Most High, above all women on earth. Dear Mother, we love you. We thank you for your promise to help us in our need. We trust in your love that dries our tears and comforts us. Teach us to find peace in your Son, Jesus, and bless us every day of our lives. Help us to build a place in our hearts. Make it as beautiful as the one built for you on the Mount of Tepeyac. A place full of trust, hope, and love of Jesus growing stronger each day. Mary, you have chosen to remain with us by giving your holy self-image on Juan's on Juan Diego's cloak. May we feel your presence as we look up on your face and have the courage to bring your message of hope to everyone. You are our mother and our inspiration. Hear our prayers and answer us. Amen. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Saint Juan Diego, pray for us. STM, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, STM. So the long-awaited locker assignment is here, finally. So hopefully we can get you as many details as we can today, but don't worry, if you missed something this morning, you can definitely see all the information on the STM website and certainly on our social media, our Twitter feed as well. So we are going to roll out access to locker assignments in the next couple of days, the grade 11s and 12s. You already have your locks from previous years. You will be receiving an email reminding you of who your assigned locker or who your selected locker partner was in the spring. And you can put your lock tomorrow on your breaks and lunches on your lock and drop off your items first thing in the morning. So tomorrow, grade 11s and 12s, you can go right to your locker. That is, you'll see the locker number also in my path. Every student should see their locker number, including grade nines and tens. But grade nines and tens, you don't have your locks yet. Your school assigned lock is the only lock you're allowed to put on your locker. Tomorrow, we will be working with all grade nine classes. We will be calling you down to the lecture hall by class and assigning you your lock. And so you'll be able to access it as well on your breaks and lunches tomorrow. Grade 10s, we will be working with your classes, period one classes on Monday. So by the end of Monday, all, all grades will have access and should have their school assigned lock and locker available to them. On an ongoing basis, we'll probably have to give you some reminders, but lockers are not a place for anyone to hang out. You just go and drop off your items first thing in the morning, in the first 10 minutes of the day, and then as you need your items to go out for lunch, for example, dropping off and picking up items as you need them. But these, this is not an ongoing access. It's an opportunity for you to be able to drop off your bags, which you're no longer gonna have in your classes anymore, and your books, and your backpacks, and your jackets as well. So any, any non-uniform items also should be left in your lockers. We'll talk a little bit more about it, but we'll see you all tomorrow as we start to see these locks and locker processes started. Thank you. Good morning, STM. We're here from your Christmas Miracle. A uh, Christmas Miracle continues this week. This Friday will be Sponsorship Gift Return Day. A reminder to classes and individuals who signed up for a sponsor to sponsor a child, please bring in your $40 gift card, hat and mitts, fundraising tin, and ornament tag on Friday in period one. Don't forget, School Clash Online is also open until Friday if you or your family would like to donate online. 
Donations go straight to purchasing gift cards for families in need. This Friday is also a school-wide Christmas spirit day. As a thank you for your generosity, STM, we will have red and green shirt or Christmas sweater day on Friday. Period 1 classes can also compete in a Christmas Kahoot competition on Friday to win an exciting prize, Tim Beams. Thank you for your generosity and Christmas spirit, STM. Just a reminder that there will be prefect tutoring today in student success. This is a message for all senior football players. Senior football players. This, this is a reminder that we will be taking our team picture as well as equipment drop off and championship jacket and patch orders tomorrow at school after school at 2.45 in the gym. Please make sure to wear your jersey for the picture from the coaches. Attention swim team athletes. There will be a brief meeting for all swim team members today after school in room 316. See you there. Attention all diversity members. Please go to the library at the end of the day once school is dismissed to complete the human rights activity and pick up item for your Christmas video. Check your email for further details. And now for your sports. Despite a strong effort, the boys hockey team lost their season opener to BT. Dante Kakuza scored the lone goal. Next ac action is Monday versus BR. Thanks, SDM. Hey STM, I'm Alicia and these are the announcements from your student council. This is a reminder that regular and vintage spirit wear is available for purchase on School Cash Online. Orders can be picked up every Tuesday and Thursday in the first 10 minutes of your lunch period. This year we're kicking off Christmas with a door decorating contest. All pictures and submissions of your doors must be submitted to the council Instagram by the morning of Wednesday the 15th. We can't wait to see all your festive decorated doors. Please don't forget to follow us on Instagram, which can be found at STM underscore council and on Twitter at STM Nights for updates, information, and everything council related. Thanks, STM. Have a great day. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.20. Have a great day.